Hello friends, welcome to EC Academy. In this lecture, let us understand the ripple factor of a half wave rectifier. The ripple factor of a half wave rectifier can be defined as the RMS value of AC component present in rectified output. The amount of AC component which is present in already rectified output is nothing but the ripple factor. So we need to find what is the amount of ripple factor or what is the amount of AC component that is present in already rectified output. We will find the ripple factor using the equation square root of I R M S divided by I D C whole square minus 1. Using this equation, we will find the ripple factor of a half wave rectifier. From our previous lecture, we know I R M S of a half wave rectifier is I M by 2 and I D C of a half wave rectifier is I M by pi. Using these two values, in this equation, we can write ripple factor is equal to square root of I m by 2 divided by I m by pi whole square minus 1. Now we can cancel out I m in these two equations. We will get ripple factor is equal to square root of 1 by 2 divided by 1 by pi whole square minus 1. So, this equation can be written as ripple factor is equal to square root of pi square divided by 4 minus 1. If we simplify this equation, we will get ripple factor is equal to 1.21. This is the value of ripple factor of a half wave rectifier. So, this is the amount of AC component which is present in rectified output. So, this is nothing but 1.21 is to 1. So, for every DC component, there is 1.21 times AC component. So, which is very high. So, in rectified output, there is 1.21 times AC component for each DC component. Hence, this is one more disadvantage of half wave rectifier where the ripple factor is very high. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.